Welcome to the American Dream, a show that started right here in San Diego, America's finest city, that now spans positive media all across the country, real stories in real neighborhoods. Hi, I'm your host, Craig Sewing, and here's the American Dream. Welcome to the American Dream, a real show, not a reality show. The real estate, the lifestyle, the culture. It's not just about what you're living in, but the community you're gonna live in. High rise, luxury living. People are the vehicle, people are the connection, people are the expansion. Helping folks just like you find your dream home. It just never disappoints. Real stories in real neighborhoods with real experts. The opportunity to achieve our biggest goals and aspirations. It's the American dream. I'm Jen Bowman, your host of American Dream TV Bay Area. Today we're in beautiful Marin County. We're gonna unlock the secrets behind fresh brewed boba tea and make some custom jewelry. It's gonna be an exciting episode. Let's get started. We're live here today at Teaspoon in Corte Madeira with the owners, Jennifer and Chris Davis, and they are gonna help us understand the secrets behind their fresh brewed boba tea. So guys, what made you decide to open a boba shop? Well, that's a great question. We like boba. It's a very unique uh, flavor profile. It's an alternative to coffee for so many. And we really felt like Marin didn't have enough opportunity or enough access to quality boba. Teaspoon's a unique brand because it's a very fresh ingredient uh, brand. We often get asked, what is boba? It's tapioca. And uh, we do a unique uh, preparation for it. it comes out uh, warm and delicious and uh, uh, people absolutely love it. We make all of our tea large batch or small batch, fresh, loose leaf tea. There's no powders, there's no packets. It takes a lot of effort and time to make the products that we purvey here and they're exceptionally, I mean, they're, they're very good. We do make uh, large batch teas that are most popular, but we cycle those every couple of three hours. Uh -huh. um, and then if we decide to do, or if your customer wants to do a specialized flavor, we have, gosh, probably 20 different varieties of, of teas. Um, we actually make them fresh with the, uh, the handle on the club machine. Oh, wow, that's really cool. It looks like a big espresso machine. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, but it's made for tea. Thanks so much for taking the time with us today. Maybe we'll check out a few drinks and see what you guys have going on on the menu. It sounds you. fun. That was a super fun visit with our friends at Teaspoon. Now we're off to Silverworks Studios to make some jewelry. Hello. Hey, Jennifer. Hi. My God, you guys, it's so great to be here and to experience firsthand what you've created. So when a customer comes in for the first time, where does this whole process start? Starts right over here with the stones. What made you guys decide to start this business? It's such a unique idea. We are both, we call ourselves escapees from corporate America. <laughs> and um, we've also known each other for a very long time. We met on the high school swim team. And I took a soldering class with my daughter a few years ago. And I was just transfixed by how fun it was and how it's really great to melt metal. Like if you like, lighting things on fire, <laughs> we're your game. Like, Absolutely, that <laughs> sounds like fun. It's super fun. And you walk out with a beautiful piece and you don't have to come back the next day. So I had this crazy idea and I called uh, one of my dearest friends for years and years and she said, Sounds crazy, but sounds awesome. So here we are, 14 months later, we're gonna make something with you today, right? Okay, fun. <laughs>
much for joining us today on American Dream TV Selling Bay Area. We've had an amazing time with our friends here at Silverworks Studios. I got a great ring. We had some tasty treats at Teaspoon, learned a little bit about boba and how it's made. So until next time, I'm Jen Bowman, your host, talking about the people, places, and activities that make Marin a great place to live. Hi, this is Robert Jones with Keller Williams Luxury and your host for the American Dream TV. Today, we'll be taking a rainy day journey through the picturesque town of Moraga, California. Nestled in the heart of the East Bay, Moraga offers a unique blend of natural beauty and community spirit. In fact, Moraga will be celebrating its 50 year anniversary this year, and September's Pear and Wine Festival is going to be one for the records. While natural features and contemplative opportunities abound, Moraga is not lacking in sophistication and enjoys a world-class country club, clubhouse, restaurant, tennis facilities, swimming pool, and an 18-hole golf course are right here for you, as well as a homeowners association that boasts 521 private residences. Another one of Moraga's standout features is Canyon Club Brewery. Canyon Club is a crossroads of amazing people, great beer, wonderful food, and the place in Moraga for live music. Let's check in with one of Canyon Club's founders, Kevin Hamilton, and brewmaster Christian Kazakoff, and see what's on tap. And here we are with Kevin Hamilton and Christian Kazakoff, master brewer and one of the founders. And and Kevin, this place opened in 2019 yeah. and you made it through the pandemic. And I was very happy that you did. I know I personally relied on this place for food, for beer, Thank for you. bread fixings. Yeah. But this place also carried you guys through the pandemic. The community. Yeah, I mean, this community was amazing uh, to us. We had only opened for a few months. Right. And uh, then the pandemic came. I mean, people came in saying, we just got you. We can't lose you. They were just doing it to get us through. That's fantastic. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And I love that on the website, you have the third place, you know, yeah. and, and taking that. Can you expound on that a little bit? What is What does that really mean? Yeah, I mean, the third place is uh, the concept that you know, every strong community needs a, a meeting place, right? And I think the theory is that everyone meets as equals and conversation is the topic. Yeah. He makes amazing beer. Yes, he does. That helps the conversation. Uh, but that was really, I think, the goal when we opened this. That's you know, great. was this community, I think, needed that and it, and it worked and now we've become that. We are the spot in town in this amazing community that just values that, that they come to hang out. Yeah, that's that's awesome. awesome. That is awesome. And Christian, you're 27 years. 27 brewer. years. Yes. That is wonderful. I, sure. And as as a as a child, you're banging down the door at Anchor Steam. <laughs> what I did, yes. Yeah, Anchor Steam kind of they they showed me the ropes and uh, and I never looked back. That is wonderful. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Are there any particular styles of beers that like you enjoy brewing more than others? I like to brew seasonally, so. When we cut, when we get to summertime, it's a lot of lighter style beers, and when we get into, you know, the fall and the winter time, it's more darker, more headier style beers. You know, I like to just keep with the keep with the seasons. That's you so know. cool. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. That mixes it up as well. You know, you're not just making. We're just not an IPA factory year round. We're, we're doing a lot of other stuff. Well, this is awesome, and the beer is wonderful here. To our viewers who are here locally, you need to stop by for those far and abroad you need to make a trip. Guys, thank you so much for all you do in the community. Our pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you. Cheers. With its rolling hills, lush greenery, and stunning views, Moraga is a haven for those seeking a peaceful yet active lifestyle. Close to metropolitan centers like San Francisco and Oakland, it's a terrific commuter location with beautiful homes and neighborhoods. Moraga, 
It's one of the best ways to East Bay. Did you know that the first stretch of automotive highway on the West Coast was built right here in San Mateo County, California? Today, we're delving into the rich history of San Mateo County here at the San Mateo County History Museum. Join me as we uncover the history and significance of this historic location. So I'm here today with Mitch Postel, the president of the San Mateo County History Museum. So Mitch, why don't you tell us a little bit about the history of this building? Thanks, Chris. Well, this is uh, San Mateo County's old courthouse. It was built in 1910. Uh, there was a courthouse that stood here previously uh, that was built in 1905 that was destroyed by the San Francisco earthquake of 1906. is the largest stained glass stone in a public building on the West Coast. Oh wow, that's interesting. Mitch, this is all absolutely fascinating. Why don't you tell me some of the highlights that put San Mateo County on the map? Sure, Chris. We were very early in suburban history in many ways, especially on the West Coast. Um, when the San Francisco to San Jose Railroad was built, in 1864, five years before the Transcontinental Railroad, it was the first commuter railroad west of the Mississippi. And the great families who were doing their business in San Francisco, they wanted to have a suburban environment to live in after the railroad was built, came down the peninsula and created their great estates and became the first suburbanites of the west. Later on, a trolley car, car service made commuting available for the middle classes. And also, uh, another big first is the first bit of highway construction on the West Coast took place between San Bruno and Burlingame right here in San Mateo County back in 1912. And that, of course, ushered in our automobile era and automobile suburbs followed and it's all history from there. Wow. Now we have a very special treat for our American Dream viewers. Mitch has agreed to let us be the first people inside of their brand new exhibit. And guess where the Beatles first played their concert in America? That's right, Chris. Right after the Ed Sullivan Show, the Beatles' first concert in the United States was right here at the Cow Palace. Huh. And you can see there's a photo of the Beatles meeting uh, Shirley Temple Black and her daughter, Lori, as a build-up to that first concert. Uh, at their second concert, there was a mini uh, riot, you could say, as there was bedlam hit uh, the Cow Palace, and that's documented in that article from the, from the Chronicle. And there were many rock concerts that were here um, with featuring famous um, artists. As a matter of fact, right behind you, Chris, is the vest that Eric Clapton wore at the Cal House when he played, and a photo right next to the vest that, sh that shows him wearing that particle clothing. Well, Mitch, thank you for this time travel adventure. Uh, so when can our viewers come visit the museum? Uh, Chris, the museum is open every day except for Monday from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. And if they want, uh, they can come in on the first Friday of each month when admission is completely free. Oh, wow. well, we're definitely looking forward to that, so thank you. Many people are still coming to San Mateo County today to live their American dream. So let's go take a look at my newest listing so you can see modern style in the present day. We changed out the flooring and put in new luxury vinyl plank flooring. It looks just like real wood. We took out the old brown countertops and we put in brand new white quartz countertops. And we did a little kitchen hack that I love to do. Took out the trash compactor and put in a wine cooler. It totally makes it look updated.
I invite you to immerse yourself in the captivating history of San Mateo County. Perhaps this is where you will find your American dream. Right, puppy? Here we are, Mealy Canada with American Dream TV. Super excited to introduce you again to Dave Lockhart the amazing lead singer of Awake. Today we took our history of meeting each other a year ago. Now we're meeting on the red carpet here in Hollywood. I am so grateful that we have this opportunity to share with all of you. I hope you all enjoy this lovely night with people from around the world who come to Hollywood today just so that we can celebrate the stars from the Oscars to our locals that we love so much like Dave Lockhart. So Dave, I really, when I had the first opportunity of meeting you, I knew you were a cool guy. You purchased the Monterey Theater with a passion to spread the love of art and music and history. So tell me more about what led you to go forward with that, that big investment. I know it's quite <laughs> a wild venture, but yeah. tell me about your a passion. A little crazy. Well, I used to go to that theater when I was a kid. It was really a vacation wonderland for me. Like that was my happy place. When people go, close your eyes and think of a happy place. I'd close my eyes and think of Russian River and do all the fun things. During COVID, I happened to be up there just looking around. I was going, I was looking for another cabin actually, because my cabin's sort of small, uh, my parents' cabin. And uh, I saw the for sale sign on the movie theater. And um, I was like, maybe they just need help. Maybe I could just sort of like give them an investment. And I talked to them and they're like, no, no, we're, we're, we're done, we're tapping out. I was like, I was like, all right. And so then I um, decided to just buy the whole thing. But you I had a vision. I had a vision. I was like, I'll make my own group. If you guys aren't aware, Monteria Theater is a very historic theater. Back in 1940s, they yeah. had established this from an old Ponza hut. And from there, we have Christos, who is amazing art is still in the in the theater right and from there it's just this collaboration of artists and awesome people i like to call gigging and i think gigging is the best thing because it's you're living your life owning your dreams doing what's your passion and that's what admired me watching how you work when you rock that stage <laughs> you get the I'm whole a big crowd. Ham, basically you know i love it though <laughs> no, that's fun you're living I have your the best dream. time doing that yeah that's and the that's, perfect time that's exactly what the American dream is all about. And so you are the epitome of owning your passion, going for what you think is, you know, what you enjoy. It's not about what you think, you're doing it because you love it. And that's right. where I'm so right. thrilled to be collaborating with you. We get to see you rock it out on stage and how you work the crowd. That's the passion and energy that I look forward to you sharing with our younger generation. So thank, thank you, you so much for our collaboration. I know oh. that we're gonna do big things. Yes. And these kids are gonna be worldwide because of our dear friend. Oh, so yes. thanks for helping. Thanks Millie, thanks Spread everybody. Love. If you haven't been to the Monterey Theater, we featured it last year on the American Dream TV and it's an amazing space with lots of history from the 40s and to today. And our next ventures, we're gonna be entertaining the world. We're going to just show the world what it's like to be in Vacation Wonderland at the fantastic Monterey Theater extravaganza. I'm Kathy Lubke, your host of American Dream TV. And I'm Curtis Lafferty, your co-host. Welcome to Susun Valley. Well, we're gonna head up and take a look at Visor Family Ranch, and then just a little bit later, we're gonna take a look at Mancus Corner, which they also own. Then we're gonna take a trip to Vallejo and meet mayoral candidate Pippin Dew. Hi, we're here at Visor Family Ranch. It's in Susun Valley. We have 51 acres. We're gonna go in and meet Carmen Gray, the agent who's listed this fabulous property. Let's go.
Thanks for spending time with us today, Carmen. You're more so than good welcome. to see you. Nice to see mm. you as well. Well, as you know, I'm part of Vintage Sotheby's International Realty. And so I'm very lucky to be able to get listings like this incredible listing here we have today. This is something that is really being positioned for a type of uh, redevelopment, development opportunity for hospitality. In the valleys, the Soon Valley, as you know, it is truly up and coming right off the 80. And it's about 40 miles between San Francisco and Sacramento. So really it's positioned location-wise excellently, but then you come into this valley and you just, you're in awe because you feel like you're near Europe, don't you? Yes, yeah. beautiful. It is great. So this is a very private estate that I have a listing on that is incredible in terms of the opportunity here. It is zoned A S V 20 which really allows us to put a hotel, right now you're looking at about 51 acres. There's about 30 acres planted. Petite Syrah and Cabernet. Two main estates, two pools. It's got cottages. It's got a permit for bed and breakfast, a permit for vacation stays, permit for weddings and events. There's a little winery down below. And after this today, what we'll do is I'll take you over to Minka's Corner, if that's okay. Great. Kind of shake Sounds you. awesome. Great. Welcome to White Minka's Corner. I know Thank you guys you. have been here before. This area is booming. You come here on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, and it is happening. All the locals, all the tourists, they all come to Mancus Corner. There is a restaurant, Mancus Grill, super popular, great food. And then also right behind us, we've got the tasting room that we're going to go and have a little splash of wine. Sounds good. And then we'll head over great. to the barrel room, and I can show you where some of the events are. Great. Wow. Let's go. Great. Let's do it. California, about 15 minutes south of Susun Valley. We're getting ready to go hang out with Pip and Dew at the Vallejo Waterfront. Hi, we're in Vallejo at the Vallejo Waterfront talking with Pip and Dew, who's running for the mayor. That's so exciting. Yes, I'm excited. What inspired you to become, or, or to, to run, for, run mayor? for mayor? Yeah, so I was a council member um, for nine years from 2014 to 2023. When I was elected, we were just coming out of bankruptcy and dealing with a lot of challenges. Over the next many years, we were able to get back on track. We were able to you know, move things in the right direction. We had one and a half billion dollars in the construction pipeline. We had 132 officers, fully staffed organization. Just so many things were moving in the right direction. And then 2020 happened. So many things changed. We had to cut $12 million from our budget. We had to do a lot of things to get back on track. 2022, I decided that I needed to step back in. Termed out in January of 2023. With that experience that I have, I can help get us back on track and get us focused with the right leadership and with the right collaborations in the community. We'll get there. What is your vision for Vallejo and the American dream? Yeah, so thank you for the question. Um, several things. So in addition to Mare Island, we also have the waterfront development, which is really important because it has the ferry terminal, the transit center. And so the opportunity for transit oriented development, which would be high density residential with commercial mixed use, extremely exciting, attainable by design, affordable by design type housing. And so there's multiple opportunities to partner with developers and to create more products that are of different income types, I'm trying to create a way for for everyone to achieve the American dream. The downtown development uh, specific plan that is also going to be going through the update and specific plan process, and that also is going to have opportunities for transit oriented development and high density development residential um, that's super exciting. That's yeah, great. Very exciting. Well, we wish you the best of luck yeah, in do. achieving the American dream. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for spending time with American Dream TV. I'm Kathy Lupke, your host. 
I'm Curtis Lafferty, your co-host, and we'll see you next time. special treat for you today. We're back in downtown Palo Alto and uh, we're going to look at a wonderful restaurant, a Greek restaurant that is fabulous and renowned, Evia Restaurant. And we're going to meet a chef, executive chef, JP, and we're going to meet Panos, the general manager and partner of the restaurant. So come on, let's go take a look right now. Hey, Panos, thanks for having us. Could you share a little bit about the Greek philosophy of, of making a, a stranger a friend? Could of you course. share with our oh, viewers absolutely, about that? Absolutely, I'm glad you brought it up, actually. Yeah. The word for hospitality in Greek is yeah. called philoxenia. It's two words made one word. Philos means friend. Okay. Xenos means stranger. Yes. So the definition of our hospitality, it's like to be able to make some stranger a friend. Yes. You know, tell me oh. a little bit about your philosophy of hiring people here. Uh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. We have people that they've been here for at least 24, 25 years. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's a very good thing, you know. I, I believe in loving within first. Yes. We love every single employee. We have over 70 employees in our place, and yeah. we know everything about their lives, and we support them. Yeah. Inside the restaurant and outside the restaurant, yeah. as much as we can. We always uh, make sure, you know, they're okay with their families, make sure they support their families by being here, yeah. and make sure they're all happy. Yeah. So we're gonna meet here JP, your executive yes. chef, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think he's gonna show me how to make uh, one of the, the fish here. Oh, see yeah. This. And yeah. JP. And then we're gonna bring television. it out to the table and eat it. Oh, so, right. All right, so let's, let's uh, get we're, gonna, we're gonna do that, and then okay. I'm gonna come back and sit down with you. Of course. Yeah. Hey, JP, thanks for having us in. Um, I know you're the executive chef here at Evia, and um, you're going to show us a little bit about how you're doing the sea bass here and um, maybe how to season it? Yeah, absolutely. So this okay. is uh, Lavraki, uh, Mediterranean sea bass. Um, simple is better with this fish. Very it's nice. Delicious fat running through it as, as it is, so yeah. good olive oil, that's the important part. Um, yeah. Salt, uh, pepper, and oregano. So okay. essentially, awesome. so we're going to overly oil, in my, in my opinion, I, I think it's... Uh, when you think it's enough, go a little bit more. Cool. Okay. You don't want to cook on coals that are on fire. Uh, okay. Cooking on coals that are on fire, you get hot spots, you know, get flare-ups. When you have yeah. uh, when you have the flare-ups, we keep the live flame in the back. Okay. Um, but when you have the flare-ups, that's where you get the uh, blotchy skin or burn marks. So you yeah. don't want that. No. Burning gets a little bit bitter. Yeah. So, anyway. And what's going on on top here? Uh, so we have a rotisserie leg of lamb. We do whole animals as well. Uh, put on the rotisserie. They'll go for about three hours. Finish it with lemon juice at the end. and. Uh, we'll be ready for the menu. Well, we're gonna see this at the table in a little bit, right? We're, I'm gonna we'll, try it We'll here. see you in 11 minutes right now. That sounds great. All right, thank you so much. Cheers. Chef, appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Very, very nice, thank you. Yeah. So you have a fun story about the lamb chops, right? Could you tell me a little bit about your White House story? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, President Obama was in, in office, you know, Bukhari uh -huh. was called, you know, to take our chefs there, you know. Yeah. Our, yeah. Executive chef Eric Kosselman and uh, yeah, and I said that we had uh, here was at Bukhari now Mario Ortega. Okay. They went to the White House, yeah, and. Uh, they cooked um, lamb chops that they were flew from here wow. to the White House. They even built an outdoor grill for us, you know, so they can make the Their own grill, grill. mosquito. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, for nice. other people, you with, know. With the special wood, and, uh, right? Absolutely. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, charcoal and everything. Fabulous. It was amazing, and uh, they were, we were very grateful, you know, that That's we had the privilege to do that. You That's know, nice. Friend. Yeah, you're right. Any president, it doesn't matter who they are. Uh, exactly, exactly, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The feta and the olive oil that comes from Greece. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of the best feta in the world. It's called Epiros feta. 
Okay. The lamb is seasoned very well. Yeah. It's juicy. Very, very good. So this is, you know, we, bo we bone this. Now, I haven't had the fish here, the sea bass before, but um, you say it's fabulous, and I, I like sea bass a lot. So let me get you a little so why don't you serve me a little piece of that? Absolutely. Very good. Light, yep. not 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 no. uh, overpoweringly. Nicely cooked. We love in tasting the food actually, and not the spices. I can, I can taste this a little smoke on it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, very very good. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. This is not a job. It's a, a passion. Yes. And, and, and uh, I can I can tell the passions here, right? You can tell it from tell the food. Thank you. The servers. Thank you. Just the overall care Thank you me. take for the restaurant. I mean, it shows. Thank right? you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not easy, but yeah. you know, if, I said if we make people happy, it makes us happy. Thanks for joining me today. I'm your host, John James, and I really enjoyed showing you this fabulous restaurant, Evia. We'll see you next time on The American Dream. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show, produced from America's finest city, but shot in the heart of your neighborhoods. Don't forget, positive media when the world really needs it. Follow us on social media, at The American Dream TV. See you next time. In the meantime, cheers to your American dream.